In light of today's snowstorm, we want to take this time to remember the worst snowstorm in Washington history. It was 100 years ago, and not only was it the largest snowstorm in district's history, it was also the deadliest. As News 4's Mark Seagraves report, 98 people died that day at the Knickerbocker Movie Theater in Adams Morgan. The Knickerbocker was a grand theater standing at the corner of 18th and Columbia in Adams Morgan with seating for 1,500 people. The weather forecast for January 28, 1922 was calling for a mild snowfall. 300 people made their way through that snow to the Knickerbocker to watch a silent film accompanied by an 11-piece orchestra. The snow continued to pile on the theater's weakening roof. There was 28 inches measured here, 32 inches measured at Rock Creek Park, and about 30 to 35 inches in Northern Virginia. So it was just a tremendous snowfall. Kevin Ambrose, part of the Washington Post Capital Weather Gang, has written two books about the Knickerbocker disaster. Just about at 9 p.m. when the first show started, opening scene of Get Rich Quick Wallingford, the ceiling started cracking and a dust cloud came down over the orchestra and stage. Most everyone just sat there watching the show. The orchestra played on and at one fell swoop, all the support beams broke free from the walls and the roof came down in one flat piece. Worst case scenario. Firefighters, police, and soldiers were brought in for the massive rescue effort. General Pershing of World War II fame was in the area and made personal calls to the military commanders to mobilize a rescue effort and get his Marines and Army soldiers there to help dig through the rubble. And George Patton of World War II fame was at Fort Myer at the time, so he took about 100 soldiers in Army trucks down the hill across the Potomac River. 98 people lost their lives, 133 were injured. In the weeks and months following the disaster, investigators found the cause. The roof was only being held up by the walls of the building. So the architect's his name was Reginald Gear. He was immediately charged with manslaughter for a poor theater design. Charges against the architect were dismissed, and a lawsuit against the owner of the theater was also dismissed. But the disaster would continue to haunt the two men, who both later died by suicide. The Ambassador Theater was rebuilt on the site, but was never a success and was torn down in 1969. Today, an empty building that once was a bank and a public plaza occupy the location. There's no signage or monument telling today's residents what happened here 100 years ago. From the site of the Knickerbocker disaster, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Just incredible old pictures there. Two events are planned to commemorate the Knickerbocker disaster. Tonight at 6 o'clock, the names of the victims will be read, and tomorrow afternoon another ceremony will be held. The location is slated to be redeveloped, which is getting some pushback. There's an effort now underway to build a monument on the site to remember the lives lost.